scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne secrets. Come on in, my beauties and bows. Welcome to the chalet for some grown discussions and bubbly banter. I am sipping on my Moet and Chandon Imperial Rose. But baby, you can have whatever you like. <laughs> Make sure you grab a glass of champagne on your way in and get comfy. Over here, we get classy with a twist, huh? A little clink and chaos. If you're a non-alcoholic kind of confidant, then grab a non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe on your way in so you'll be notified when we drop a new show. Now you know we have to kick it off with some positivity and affirmations. So grab those glasses and raise them high. If you're ready, let's get into it. In the tapestry of life, fear not to be your authentic self. For your uniqueness is your strength. Let go of doubts and worries that hold you back. Embrace your true essence with boldness. You are a beacon of light, destined to shine brightly. Let nothing dim your radiance or silence your voice. The world awaits your authentic brilliance. So step into your power and illuminate the path with your authenticity. Raise a glass to yourself, confidant, for you are worth it. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you happen to be catching this video, I hope it is the best day you have had in a very long time. So what brings us to the chalet today, I was listening to, um, I guess, Roly tell what really happened between her and E.T. and why they fell out. And I ran across this part of her video that didn't quite sit right with me because I know I watched the baddies reunion. So some of the things that she said to me sounded a little off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a second and play this video for you. And then I want to come back and we're going to have a discussion about it. All right. What's real cool with her? I was close with her, but you're gonna ask me a weird ass question on the reunion talk about some why I let my friend attack Natalie. Bitch, why the fuck did you let me attack your friend? Bitch. I didn't even know that she attacked Natalie. I would have you stopped know what? would have never even did that shit. I would have stopped her if I would have known that she I would have even told her before we go. Do not put your hands on fucking Natalie. Like, don't do that. Like she didn't do nothing to you. But you're gonna sit there and ask me why the fuck I let my friend run up on Natalie. Girl, you like you you questioning the wrong bitch at this point. What's real cool with her? So y'all, explain to me how she didn't know. I'm a little confused because, again I say, I saw the reunion. And I know y'all did too. So explain to me how Roly did not know what E.T. did to Natalie. Y'all see the little, saw the little mini clip that was on the screen. In both of those little clips that I put next to her speaking, you can clearly see Roly look over in the, the direction of what's going on. Even if you, for some odd reason, did not see what everybody else on the stage saw, you said, Natalie is your sister. Natalie is your friend. You would never let anyone do anything to Natalie. Well, you saw Natalie was in an altercation and you did nothing. Explain to me how you did not know. Now, I do believe everything else that she said in the video. And I'm probably going to do a separate reaction to the different seg segments of what she said. 
But this one in particular, please help me understand how she didn't know. So now I need someone to explain to me how Roly didn't know. Her and E.T. walked out together to the reunion stage. Walked out together, side by side. Then this girl kicks off her shoes and takes off, running like a bat out of damn hill at Natalie. And it looks like Roly is sitting over there looking in that direction. So how didn't she know? Then, if you look over in the corner, that is Roly's hand. She flipped up her hand as soon as E.T. did what her did, what she did, like... What in the world is going on? So explain to me again how Roly did not know that E.T. had attacked Natalie. But this is supposed to be your friend. This is supposed to be your sister. And let's play devil's advocate and pretend like she didn't know, right? You kept saying Natalie is your sister and you would never let anyone do anything to her. Yet and still, the entire stage is running over in Natalie's direction, including your so-called ops, and you did nothing. You didn't go check on her. You can obviously see she's nowhere in view. So wouldn't you run over there to see if she's okay? This your sister, right? That's what you said. This your friend, right? That's what you said. You would never let anyone jump her, right? That's what you said. But the only thing that you did was proceeded to call out Biggie and tell Biggie, let's get it on. Because you didn't care. You didn't care. And so now you're trying to cover for yourself. Now don't get me wrong. I believe everything else she said about E.T. Entertainment tonight. I believe everything that she said. But this part right here, baby, it was evidence. It was all on the screen. So I'm not understanding how you on the enter of the net telling all these people that you happen to not know something that everybody else on the stage knew. Everybody else on the stage saw what was, what was going on because that's what they were focused on. The entire house B ran over there to assist Natalie, your sister, your friend. But you were clueless, child. Y'all, we got to do better than this. Better than that. We got to do a better job coming up with our lies. <laughs> For real, why don't y'all drop in the comments and tell me what you think about it? Because this right here is above, beneath, and beyond me. And I am completely over it. <laughs> Confidence, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink till we meet again. Ta-ta.